Now that summer heat is hitting the heartland as you may know, and if that has you thinking about taking a trip to somewhere cooler, this segment is certainly for you. So whether you're looking to take a train, a plane, or hit the road, we've got the top destinations travel agents are seeing for people here in the heartland. I have Jamie Schultz with Elite Travel to tell us more about this. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. So the summer's here. Yes. Is this your busy season? It is definitely our busy season. Um, you know, everyone's ready to travel. We've seen such a high demand in travel recently. So it's, it's definitely in our busy season right now. So taking a look at things right now, mm -hmm. if someone didn't do the planning like myself, what can they do to kind of plan a last minute trip? What are some tips? Well, some tips that I would say, um, pick out some dates. Reach out to your travel advisor. Um, there are some great destinations that um, you know will be good for last minute, like you're mentioning, like Panama City Beach. Absolutely, we got some great like beach condos there that you can check into. Um, you know that we can arrange for you. So I would say definitely like plan your dates, and that's going to be kind of your first step. And then. Um, you know, just because travel has been in such a high demand, it's good to um, figure out the dates and then kind of go from there to confirm. And you're speaking about in demand, which mm -hmm. places are in the most demand right now? Yeah, so I would say um, national parks have been in a really high demand really? recently. Yeah, so like Yellowstone National Park, um, the Grand Tetons, uh, Glacier National Park too. Wow. So Glacier National Park in particular, we've seen huge demand for. Um, I think a lot of people, you know, are ready to go out and see the nature and just explore and see the wildlife. Um, and with Glacier, it does require a little bit of more planning. So it's nice to have an advisor that can assist with that because there are like car registrations mm -hmm. that you have to have, um, park um, re reservations too. So it's nice to kind of have that all lined out. So definitely national parks. Um, Gatlinburg too is a great drivable beautiful, destination. Beautiful place. Yes. Have you been there? I have not actually visited there personally, okay. but it's like seven, eight hours. It's so gorgeous, yes. absolutely gorgeous. Where is the, if you had to give it to one place, which has just drawn the most crowds from the heartland? I would say Florida has been a really big hot spot, just yeah. um, with like Destin has been a great destination with yeah. the beach condos, um, but yeah, definitely with Florida. That's been our hot spot with, um, travel this summer. Now, there might be things that people might not consider when right. traveling. I know we talked about, you know, planning a date and making sure you have time to go, mm -hmm. but what are some things people don't think about whenever they decide they want to go on like a last minute trip or just a trip in general? Right. So I like one thing that comes to my mind is train trips, mm. just because usually those are affordable. Mm. They're really nice because like for example you can take the train from Carbondale to Chicago and that's a fun trip. You know it's like five hours on the train up to Chicago. You know you yeah. can ta um, watch a baseball game at Wrigley Field. You can go and visit like the Navy Pier, the Bean. So there's lots of fun things to do that you can take on a sh like a sh train ride. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's a, a great option, I would say, like a I'm train ride. Yeah. yeah, and is that the most common kind of transportation that you guys see right now? Is it car rides or plane rides or? I would say trains have been pretty really? popular recently just because um, once again with Lake Glacier, mm -hmm. we have clients here wanting to take the train from like Whitefish, Montana up to the Glacier National Park because they do offer train rides there and that's, a really great way to visit Glacier. And you've been so. all over, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you used to quite work, a bit. You used to work for a cruise line as well. Yes. So you've been all across. You've seen all these places. You just being you love being able to help people get to where they need to go. Right. Get. Yeah. So I have had experience with like uh, multiple sectors with the travel industry, like the cruise ships. Um, worked in a hotel and then you know, yeah. you know just in a lot within the travel industry so that's definitely my passion and I love to share that to other people too so well, thank you for yeah. taking the time to be here Cassie I want to go on a trip now <laughs> like right now where where do you